New Year old footage. I had this elaborated plan of making a Star Wars like movie. Fighting off old paint on this IKEA shelf. But I had to cancel plans. What a treat a silent unboxing can be. Anyways, every insert I've seen so far comes broken. But hey, it's all about the sender, isn't it? The switches feel satisfying to the touch. And also the slim body that let me choose this sander over a Rotex. That hose attachment is detachable and lets you even polish really tight curves. Really nice. Let's see what else we've got. A handle. A bumper to get inside corners without damaging anything. An Allen key I'll never use. And a few sheets of mesh sanding discs. And of course, the manual that everyone studies extensively. After catching that dang screw for the handle and mounting it, I realize how much empty space is in that container and that a Thanos sustainer would be a nicer fit. Another thing that bothers me about the Sortimo case is that the printout of the lid is damaged because the sander is held in its place by a bumper that is hidden behind it, instead of making a cutout. For some, it is interesting to read about handy accessoires. And looking again at that insert. Why can't they ship the sander fully mounted? That way it won't break and all that space could be free to accommodate sanding discs or other accessoires available. The solution? That space. Why? As if you don't buy heaps of sanding discs. They don't even provide you with the very important velcro pads so you don't damage your backing pads while using mesh sanding discs. 
And of course, I bought the soft and hard backing pads. You need to play a bit of Tetris to get them inside as the boxes won't fit. But hey, the sides are also unused space and I can't get over it how much this insert wastes space. Why? Oh, and I tend to purchase sanding discs from Festool or Merca. What brand is cheap at the time? Bosch seems to only sell packs of 10 with a much higher price per piece, at least here in Europe. Okay, let's get this puppy ready. I admit, I haven't read the instructions and was unsure if there's any other way to keep the backing pad from rotating. Normally tools do have buttons or levers to use for that, but not this Bosch. They rely on you holding the backing pad with your hands. At least you can engage the gears to get a bit more friction. The pads are held with one M8 by 20 screw and three bobbins are taking care of any shear forces. The fit is satisfying and also the use of casted metal. The rest of the backing pad is directly molded over the mounting plate. To me, medium backing pads have no other use than hand sanding. I use hard pads for flat surfaces and soft ones following lighter curves. And now comes the most important part. Make sure you have those velcro adapter pads on. Every backing pad from any company, even from Merca, will lose grip when using mesh sanding discs. Period. Otherwise you get all those one star Amazon reviews in. And as we all hate hand sanding, or at least I do, this is much more satisfying to watch.
And now, two years later, I can tell you, this is a good sander. You might have noticed that geared sanders are almost as quick in removing paint as a belt sander. After flipping that board, the mesh was clogged up a bit and already dull, but only using it on wood, those mesh discs seem to hold forever. The unique selling point for me was the slim design of the sander with the detachable hose port. It makes it very convenient to handle. Without the gears engaged, you can even use it like a palm sander. And I only wanted to get one sander, so this was beneficial for me. As my palm sander got lent out to a friend and came back broken. I'm sorry, little fella. Guys, never lend out your tools. Oh no! Anyway, the bumper works great. I renovated a small room in a friend's house and sanded the hardwood flooring with it. Only the corners needed the touch-up with the delta sander. And I admit, I've never repaired that insert. And I'm still looking for an old Thanos sustainer with a Bosch label for it. From a time before they switched to Zotimo. As you can see, there's only the soft backing pad in the case as I use the hard ones most of the time. The medium one got a knob attached. How I do this is shown in an old video of me. I put the link down below. I even think about printing a dust shroud for it like the Mirka ones. In the beginning I was using Abranet. This is granite net and I can't notice any differences between all available mesh sanding discs. Due to the many holes of the backing pads, there is hardly any dust noticeable. Dust extraction for the win. It really works great, even with small vacuums. And you never need to align those mesh discs. Only thing I've noticed is that the sander is tipping slightly. So lay it on its side or put something under the dust shroud so the backing pad doesn't get distorted. In the end, I'm not a big fan of Bosch power tools as I get often disappointed. But I can't wrap around my head on all those one-star reviews on Amazon as this is a nice sander. They all seem to be user error related. And I've never burned out a sanding pad as I use those darn velcro adapters. Well guys, that wraps it up for today.